So, of course, ever since after the incident, now they're gang stalking me super heavy. Look at this car right here. And they're right by the p another place where I'm wrongfully banned. So, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to get those other videos quickly uploaded. That way it didn't even take up all that much of my battery space. So... Now I I I, I have to, I, I I not long ago had the sensation that you know I have to do the second number you know if you know I don't mean to tell TMI but I have to do do and don't have any place where I can go do do you know so look at this perp right here but the when people gang stalk me at the hotels and stuff there's no talk. Or, or even other places of business when they wait at a place of business. And look, when I get by, you turn, you already waiting in your truck and you turn on your ignition and then want to pull off. <clears throat> Everybody wants to be a bully, one of the bully fad cops. Yeah, I'm going to say it just like that. So in here, they come into their car. Damn. All three. And then there's three of these vehicles and three people walking. So, yeah, I I have to use the bathroom and, and I don't have a place to go. So... I mean... But how you tell me, you know, go sleep on the grass, which is another person's property. You, you know, that if behind the grass is another person's private property. Shucks. And it's like, I don't mean to tell TMI, but the doo-doo seems like it's trying to come out of me. And I'm trying to hold it. And it's very hard. <clears throat> it's like they, they want to try to succeed at making me fail in life. And tomorrow's, you hear you see those weirdos? <clears throat> and, and tomorrow's Friday the 13th. I mean, if I want, I mean, if I was in my career, see how they ran me out of that spot? That's exactly <clears throat> how. how you know they run targeted individuals out of their own homes, run you out of your neighbor, run you out of your home, running you out of your neighborhood, <clears throat> and then have you on the. Sh they run you out of your home and run you out of your neighborhood and have you out on the streets, and then run you from every every place where you try to get comfortable. <clears throat> so that abusive bully police officer was rude and abusive. And then he turned around and started to ask me all kinds of fucking nosy questions. <clears throat> you know, even wanting to know where I work. I said, it's none of your fucking business where I work. You know. So, I told him it's none of his business where I work. And, um, you know. He, and then he, so I say, I mean, because he stepped, he stepped on my sleeping bag and stuff on purpose <clears throat> like uh, deliberately hold up see these places of business should not have loud music anywhere
and of course that crazy demon Alex. Yeah, bitch, I fucking see your ass. Fucking satanic faggot ass. Go to hell. Shut up. It ain't funny. See, he's ignorantly laughing. And that's Alex right there. This is the crazy demon. This is the guy who wanted me to sell my soul and wanted to prostitute me to Adam Sandler and Howard Stern. I don't give a fuck, you Masonic demon. You deserve to die and go to hell. Go Trump. Go Trump. You don't even work. You don't even care about Trump. Go Trump. <laughs> hey Sparky, <laughs> checking this out. Adam Sandler and uh, Howard Stern are coming to kidnap him. This is the crazy demon Alex that gang stalk and follow and harass me, tell me police got me under surveillance. Do you know you're under you see, you see, he's just, I don't care. Yeah, I don't, y'all not afraid of your bastards. I am not afraid of y'all. And, and, and this is like the fourth or fifth time he didn't freaking told me something like that. I don't care. The Antichrist rules. You, you see that? Listen, 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 he's a total Satanist. And you want to try to, you serve Satan and want to try to control my behavior. You admit that you are a gay Satanist, a gay homosexual Masonic, you Freemason Satanist. ACDC, I'm on the highway to hell. Now he's trying to act stupid. All I know is you need to stop stalking, following, and harassing me every damn well. You won't be laughing when you're burning. So I put this camera in this fucking face. Yeah, he left me alone for a good two, at least a, a whole two months he left me alone. Now he's back to harassing me again, and conveniently, the, the, he might have he might have set something he might have set this all up for them to pull the skit that they did. You know, he doesn't even bother me at night at my sleep spot. Usually, he he never bothered me at you know that sleep spot. So he he y'all hear him again saying police got you under surveillance, and this shit ain't funny. You know, because you want my soul and, and you, you know, you're trying to get me to sell out. You, you, want, you delusionally believe you're my pimp and you have no rulership or authority over me. And the Antichrist does not rule. You know. And here's a perp right here with funny headlights. I see you gang stalking, bitch. With funny headlights. And Alex is the one who recruits everybody to become gang stalkers. I mean, I haven't seen that motherfucker in a long time, like a good two months. And look at them showing off. Young ass kids. They're the ones who should have no business driving. No business having a car. So basically they want to keep me running all day all day and all night with no place to sleep. And then they call me crazy when I'm not mentally all there because of lack of sleep. I'm not naturally a crazy person. And then they want to force me on psych meds. Like the police officer try to question me about um look they brighten their lights. The police officer try to stupid but the police officer trying to question me about you, you, trying to say oh you know you can get housing faster if you if you um you know get with the mental health program or whatever nope they even say that they're backed up he trying to say oh you should go to the pavilion or lakeview and stuff like that I'm like fuck no you know so he wanted to be in my business and want to know where i work and everything like that 
So Alex can film me, but I can't film him. All the, and see a place of business on Palafox Street. New, quite a bit of homeless people sleep there or whatever random place of business on Palafox Street at nighttime, you know. So I don't even know where to go. I don't know where to go, but it's not fair for me to be forced to be up all night or awake all night. And I don't go hang by the homeless click. I mean, I felt comfortable where I was, you know, but I could have still been in a hotel. But y'all know the online perps that got me, you know, set me up to get banned from hotels, the, even the cheaper ones. All right. I mean, I don't, I shouldn't have to be forced to be on the street. I got a bachelor's degree and I shouldn't have to be forced to live like this. That's how you know I'm truly targeted. You know? That's how you know I'm truly targeted. Because, you know, I could have been driving around in something nice and also, you know, having not necessarily a luxury place to live, but, you know, something decent you know not in a, I mean I could have been you know in my career field if it weren't for people deliberately and on purpose hindering me while they, they just didn't want me to get ahead of them but it seemed like almost everybody with a fucking car is a damn you know sellout nowadays like nowadays you you gotta fuck what the hell you're supposed to um sell out just to get a bike to ride is that how it's gonna be nowadays it's like you gotta sell out just to have air to breathe and i wish i could freaking say more you know and i'm not allowed to even expose these criminals you know, that girl, she doesn't freaking work there. She freaking lied and said that she owns that business. You know, nobody owns that. All, if they freaking rent there, or that girl, she probably doesn't even work there at all. But as I said, that man, he, he knew I was, he'd he been seeing me for a while. And, and, you know, passed by me. He even drove past me, I'm pretty sure more than three times, quite a few times. You know, and some homeless people here in Pensacola, they sleep on the porch of certain places of business and stuff like that. You know, they want, it's like usually the police don't harass you, you know, for where you sleep at unless a business, uh, in this case, they lied and said that there were business owners there just to get rid of me. But usually the Pensacola police don't say anything I mean, because the P Pensacola police have seen me over there before and have approached me and talked to me or dealt with me quite a few times and never said, oh, you're not supposed to be over there. But only because these fake wannabe business owner perps who do witchcraft, they freaking complain. And here's a perp right here. I can see him in his car and his car is red. You know, so... And he has on no headlights, but he's just sitting there with the car running with the Arizona license plate. So I have especially nowhere to go when it rains. So y'all going to get mad if I ask for hotel room money, you know, for where to go when it rains. And they have a doggone hurricane coming up. How the hell you... If you really cared about me, you wouldn't have called the police on me, hoping that I'd be a victim of police brutality. Because that was a mild brutality. You angrily snatched the freaking, um, snatched my blanket off of me, and then making like you don't like being ignored. I, and I told him I was not ignoring him on purpose, but he just wanted to be a fucking bully. <clears throat> you know? So, I have a right to freaking vent. Because I have nobody to talk to on the phone right now. I have nobody to talk to on the phone right now. So, and, and society wants to eliminate homeless. Why force me against my will to go to a damn shelter where I don't want to go to? 
and these shelters basically you know <clears throat> they don't have much of anything for single women but if they did you know um i'm not going any place where i can't have my earbuds on and listen and try to block out no loud noise so the police officer falsely accused me of ignoring him on purpose and stuff like that well y'all freaking y'all can freaking ignore people you know so but i was not ignoring him on purpose i had my earbuds in and and he tried to make make it like oh it's not safe y'all don't give a fuck about people's safety you know all y'all care about is y'all narcissistic selves and, and they want to front like they just doing this for to protect me doing that to protect me and the stuff no y'all y'all try to he, that up uh, i mean i was not gonna go with that police officer because they'll either try, i don't know if he would try to lure me to jail or the mental institution no and they have all that noise at that stadium and here's a perp that just pulled off i see you gang stalking bitches fucking witches with the fucking Subaru and a New York license plate. And here's another perp that pulls up when they drive off and they think that shit is funny. But basically, I have nobody to talk to. Because, you know, they will all defend and agree with the perps. And like, I did something wrong. And this perp just pulled up when the other perps left. Synchron perfect synchronicity. I guess that's the word. And she's another witch on her phone. And there she go driving off. I'm getting your fucking license plate too. LAT uh looks like E67 or something. I didn't quite get it. But yeah. See they know that they know they're criminals. But you criminalize somebody just for struggling to survive when y'all put through me in this situation. <laughs> and they had that loud ass stadium nearby. So, I forgot what I needed to say. Damn, I, what I needed to say was very important, but it slipped my mind. I don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. <clears throat> so I'm surprised they have vehicles over here at night. I've never been over here this late at night before. And they got a lot of cars over here. Oh, yeah, I think I have been over here, but not this far down. Um... And I, see, I thought I saw lightning just now. But damn, they want you. It's like they want to try to manipulate and maneuver you, the target, to be in. Um, They try to ban you from everywhere and manipulate and maneuver you to be out there in dangerous weather. And then try to set you up to get locked in a mental institution and try to make it like you're a crazy person who, who just chooses to be out in dangerous weather when they put you out there you know so damn i thought yeah so <clears throat> i don't see any signs saying that you can't be over here past dark but i feel like what's the point of carrying around a sleeping bag what's the point of me carrying around a sleeping bag if, um, you know, wh why should I carry around a sleeping bag if I can't lay down anywhere? <clears throat> More perps. That truck is red. And then look at that m motorcycle. So I guess this place over here ain't called private property. Damn.
I want like Masonic perps. Perps are in my way right where I was about to go sleep. Smoking their damn fake crusted dirty satanic evil cigarettes. And then this person parked right where I was going to go. Yeah. So now they want to make sure I'm not safe while they pretend to front like, oh, we're doing this for your safety. Look at this. Right directly where you knew in advance where I was going to sleep at. Or try to lay down at. And it's fucking dark over here. And they make sure they're freaking smoking near me. So, yeah, that's fucking disrespectful and inconsiderate. I'm agitated and tired right now. Oh, damn, I wish I could remember that important thing I was trying to say. More cars, and everybody got a fucking cigarette somewhere. But I can't be in freaking peace. It's like the damn beach all over again. Can't get any peace, or can't, don't have a right to breathe fresh fucking air. You know, you can exercise your fake right, so-called right to smoke. Everybody else has rights except me. Everybody has a right to do this and do that. When, when I make a complaint, oh, it's public property. But when everybody else got a complaint against me, oh, it's private property. So as I said, I have no place to sleep peacefully, quietly, and comfortably. And, and look at the sky. It looks like it might want to freaking rain. So, and it's, it's a lot of people over here that make me not feel safe. So, I'm going to go.